In the previous video, I made a touch keyboard which was not very successful. But in this video, I bought some capacitive touch sensor that might occupy less space inside the box and reduce noise. Let's test it. Here I have three TTP223 sensors that I connected to the Arduino 5 volt voltage and you can see that a LED on the sensor lights up when you touch them. After that I measured the output voltage and found that the output voltage is zero normally. And when you touch the sensor, the output voltage reaches 5 volt. So you can easily write the desired program. In the Arduino software, I defined three pins as input and started a serial communication. In the loop section, I defined that if the desired pin is high, it will print the character 1 in the serial monitor and wait until that pin becomes 0. This means waiting for the user to remove own finger. And in the same way, we can add as many as we want. Here I open the serial monitor and touch the sensors. 1 2 and three and you can see that it is working well so i will put this program on github so that you can use it but do this thank you this is unbelievable i didn't see that box to buy anymore what should i do now I think I have a box here. This one can be useful. This is my RFID door opener project. I was going to use both these technologies, but I have to make changes inside the circuit. In addition, the signal of this module may affect the touch keys. So I only use touch keys in this video.
After finishing the programming, I uploaded the codes and every part of the box that I touch, a number was printed on the serial monitor. For better performance, I decided to connect a relay to one of the Arduino pins so that when the user enters the correct code, that relay will turn on. And I will define it so that the relay stays on for 2 seconds and then turns off. Here I write the numbers on the box with the help of a marker. Here I do another test and as you can see when I enter the correct code, the relay turns on. Now, to change the password, if I hold this key for less than 10 seconds, nothing happens. And the program works well. But if I hold the key for 10 seconds, the memories are erased and the program tells me to reset the Arduino board. Here, the program no longer works. I reset the board and have to choose a 5 digit code as a new code. For example, I enter this code. And you can see that the previous code doesn't work. But the new code turns on the relay. Okay, I think uh, that is enough for this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna develop this project and in the next parts Hey come on we should go celebrate Can't you see I'm recording a video? America won in football